Oh yeah. Uh, 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 feels good. Feels good. What's up, y'all? I'm so tired. How you doing? What's up? Dante, you guys looking good today. I can't see you guys, but that's all right. And we're back for another episode of your favorite internet show. Why are you making that face? Because I don't know the topic. I'm going to wait to hear what it is. Well, we're back for another episode of your favorite internet show. Okay. <laughs> if this is your first time tuning in, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button that's below us and the notification bell that's right next door so that you're notified every time a new episode of Polar Opposites, the Melanin Edition, pops up. And for a returning opposite fan. what they do? What's up? All right, so this one's a pretty funny topic. I'm kind of scared of what might co actually come out of your mouth. All right. What is the most important question to ask on a first date? Are you a man? <laughs> no cap, I've been asked that before. <laughs> they I said I was too pretty and that I Your feet are too big. <laughs> I'm not laughing. You ain't got to. <laughs> but yeah, I was asked if I was a man because I was too beautiful. They thought I was like one of those drag queens that had on, which I didn't have on a bunch of makeup, but I was just asked like if I was a guy, which was kind of weird. Some people might feel like that's disrespectful to ask a female. A lot of females and women, they may they may feel like that's disrespectful to ask them on the first date, but... Yeah, yeah it is disrespectful. I was like, no, do I no, look like not. her? No, it's not. Because females now, they imitate drag queens and drag queens imitate females. So I think that is a real important and appropriate question to ask if, in fact, you are, in y'all words, Makeup is beat to the gods or beat or whatever the hell but you want to call it. Like, All no. y'all, listen, trannies, they kick their face up with makeup. So does the females. Females, y'all go get these weird ass eyebrows. So does the damn tranny. Every other female got a half full of damn weed. So does every tranny. Y'all are imitating each other. I think that is an appropriate question to ask on the first day if you aren't sure. We need to go ahead and cut this shit short. If I ask you, you a guy, and you say yes, I got the option either to finish the date or go about my business. I think that's an appropriate question. Okay. Females don't have a problem asking a guy, well, what do you do for a living? And they don't have the problem of turning around and asking the same damn question. Mm -mm. Females ask, what do you do for a living? Because they want to know what income bracket you're in. If a guy asks you what do you do for a living, we're just trying to find out if you lazy and stay at home, man. You have a job. Exactly. <laughs> Those, I, this is why we ask, you know, you know, do you work? Yeah, you know, what kind of work? Oh, I'm in the, they'll say something like, oh, I'm in the service industry. And we're like, okay, all right. And we leave it at that. You work at McDonald's? <laughs> Again, we leave it at that. You, a guy, oh, what do you do? We're in the service, I'm in the service industry. What does that mean? What do you exactly do? Oh, I um, I cook fries at McDonald's. So I cook. You no, know, we say, oh, I'm a cook. Oh, you're a chef? No, I'm not a chef. And in her mind, you you say chef, she think, okay, well, he probably in that, that $20, $30 range. You're a chef? No? Okay. So, fast food? Yeah. Oh, so you're in that $8 to $10. You're a minimum wage. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be a short date. Uh, another thing I think that you should ask on the first date, um, and... Uh, I hate to be that guy, but um, do you have kids? Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Matter of fact, some of them you don't even have to ask if they have kids. You ask, how many kids do you have? And the reason, but my reasoning for asking do you have kids or not is because... You're trying to find out if they're going to bust it open on the first day. That part too. Horrible. Horrible. Listen, my ideology is this. If she got four more, she fucking on the first date. That's my, that's my, I'm not, listen, a lot of guys know this. If she got four more, you got a strong possibility to get you some on the first date. Depending on how you spend it. Depending on how you spend it. You hit her ass with some, um, 
So, so well, not oh, not Red Lobster. But you hit ass with a with a restaurant that's a little bit above Red Lobster. Take on a walk around some area she ain't been to. You gonna get you some. But another reason, another reason that uh, you want to find out if the person has uh, a child or not. Or how many kids they got? Cause you want to know how how reckless they've been with their genitals. I mean, you you don't know the the dick facts or the vagina facts. You don't know, but based on how many kids they now, you know how reckless or how careful they've been with their vagina. Now, granted, they can have no kids and they can have a hundred bodies. Uh, but at least you got an idea. No, at least you got it. I thought, I thought you was raising your hand. I was like, hey, bro, you got a hundred bodies. That's your business. That ain't nothing to do with me. Nah. I thought you was raising your hand. Oh, no, no, no. But if you, yeah, if you, you, you want to, you want to ask that. That's a key indication that they may have or may not been reckless with their penis or, you know, vagina. I, you got one? Because I got, I got tons. I would jokingly ask, have you ever had an STD? No, that's a gr- that's not a joke. This is a straight up question. I mean, yes, you would turn it as if it was a joke, but you actually want to know. Have you had an STD? Bitch, I ain't joking. Is your coochie burning? I ain't. No, hell no. Do you got them bumps Does that it pop burn up? when you pee? Yes. Do you, do you go to the clinic often? This ain't a joke. I ain't joking. I'm coming straight out asking you. So if you're asking questions like that, that means that you are potentially wanting to have sex with them and quite soon who is going on dates with somebody they do not have want to have sex with what some people are celibate first okay for the small amount of people that's so-called celibate that's just what i'm saying you're going that's why. on a date <laughs> with someone that's not celibate their intentions is to penetrate you if you're a female or there's a guy uh, you know, her intentions is to put that monkey on you. These, this is what it is. So, no matter what you. That's are, not always true. That's exactly what. It that is. is not always true. This is always because I've gone on dates and I have absolutely no, no idea of wanting to have sex. You do, you do you remember that date you went on that you told me about and this particular person came in there with the fuck him off it on. Did you really have to put that out? Like I'm that? just saying, do you remember Ew. that? But do you remember that though? Exactly. Your intentions was just to go out and have a good time. You know, check out the scenery. Get to know the person that you with. You this boy you came in there with the fuck him outfit on. Do y'all know what the fuck him outfit on? I'm finna tell you where <laughs> oh it is. A lot God. of y'all don't know. It's just a regular ass shirt and some basketball shorts. Really? Shit that you can easily slide down and take off. Did you really and then once you finish, easily put back on and go on about your you business. really doing this. I'm telling you the truth. You are really doing this. I'm <laughs> telling the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. I think they're watching video too. I was, bruh, I was a fucking outfit. I told her it was a fucking outfit. A mess. I Absolutely. told did I not tell you when you, you told me that on? It's a fucking outfit. And uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Now, Another question that I think that y'all need to ask, and you know, again, this may be the petty side of me. Who do you live with? They might say, my mama lived with me. That's okay. Even if I live with my mama because X, Y, and Z. You know, maybe I, I went through, you know, a hard time and, you know, I'm trying to get back on my feet. So I moved in with my mom to get my coins up and get my own place. Well, how long have you been okay living with, with your mom? 19 years. Okay. Yeah. You want to ask, you want to further investigate that because you don't want to get stuck in a situation to where they, they originally never had their own place and they've always lived at home. You don't want to get stuck in that. But the reason you want to ask that is because these, and these are guys that primarily do this. A guy will live with a female and yell single. And then go on a date with you and say he got a roommate. Gotta and be his whole baby mama. This is what I'm saying. Living with <laughs> his whole baby mama. They sleeping in the same bed with the kid there, but that's his roommate and he's single. So you wanna you wanna ask, you know, who do you live with? But why can't we ever hang at your place? Because my roommate there, little do you know his roommate is his baby mama. Listen, I listen, I'm gonna hurt some hearts. If you're 30 and above. You should not have a roommate. You I'm just saying that. 
I'm going to say if you're 30 plus, you should not have a roommate. At this point in your life, you should have your own shit. If you are dating somebody, it's expensive some places, mm -hmm. and cost of living increase constantly goes up, mm -hmm. constantly goes up, and people may not be able to afford. Mm -hmm. That goes back to one of the questions we us. said earlier. We said earlier, what do you do? Because what you do for a living determines how they live. It. Because if you doing fast food, chances are you, and you 30, chances are you got a roommate. Or you live at home with mama, you live with somebody else. So that tells you right there, that's the type of person you may not want to invest all your time in. Because it's only so much that uh, a McDonald's or a Burger King check can afford. It's only so much. So think about that. Now, another one I think that y'all need to... I have one okay. that's actually serious. These are serious no, questions. No, 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 no. I mean, not silly serious. I mean, like, actual serious. Like, hey, we both grown, and we're here, and we're at least trying to see where this is going. What are your intentions? What is your reason for dating? Like, are you looking for something serious and long-term, or are you just kind of just having, trying to find someone to date and get out of the house and do stuff with? Like, where are we going with this? Because in our age range, it's like people are trying to find someone to, you know, make a family with, grow with, settle down. I don't like saying that, but to settle down with and be with and to grow with. So it's like, I'm, we're not going to go out there and just recklessly date. Like, I'm trying to see where this is going. If it ain't going nowhere, then I'm not going to let you waste my time. So I could be wasting my time with someone that's actually serious. So, like I said, that's an actual serious one. Where do you want see this going? Where is it that you want it to go? Are you just trying to, you know, finesse me into getting my panties off? Or are you trying to actually strip me down and see actually who I am and know who I am and love me for me? Okay, uh, I think that that's a question to ask. But not on the first date. The reason I say not on the first date is because I don't know you. So how the hell can I tell you what this is? Well, about? I mean, it's not like I'm sure you previously talked to them. You're not just going to be like immediately just walk up to somebody and be like, "Hey, I think you look really nice. Let's go out on a date." Some people do no. spontaneous. Some people do. No. But I don't think that that's the first date. Reason being is because you don't necessarily really know that person, and so you have to kind of even though you talk to them through text message, y'all talk on the phone. You know, that's different from being in someone's presence. You can have all the conversation in the world until you get in front of them and you can't say anything. Well, maybe you have bad hygiene or something like that and then they mess up the whole um, relationship when I meet you. Uh, I So I don't think that oh, that's a good why one. Why should your hygiene be bad? If you know when you know you can go out on a date, you might want to take yeah. a shower and, then, and clean yourself up. And that's another thing that I wanted to say. You should already know the intentions of the person based on how, they, how you guys met. Because how you met shows the intent of what the person is. person if I met you at the gym, right? You know you got the, you got your, your your cheeks all plumped and good, right? And you doing squats. And I come over there and I check you over there by the squat machine and I ask for your number, you already know what my intentions are. You already know my intentions. If you just out and you just out shopping or whatever the case may be and let's just say we're in a grocery store and I'm looking down at my list and I just happen to look up and you like right there like oh okay and then I approach it is okay that's a little bit more genuine you know or if I see on you just posted a picture you know the side picture you, know, you got the boobs you know and the butt all of this and you got a hundred plus likes and all this and then I jump in your inbox that's a thirst trap so you get exactly what you get what exactly you so you already know my intent when I hop in your inbox but more than likely that may be their intention too Okay, so stuff like that is a trap. So you will, you shouldn't even ask, well, where are we going with this? We going how I met you. But I'm speaking on the fact of I'm gonna go with the scenario of the grocery store where you said, hey, I met, I saw you in the grocery store. I thought you looked very nice, and I wanted to hold a conversation with you, see if I can get your number. That's the more genuine one. That's where I was coming with that. Not these thirst traps where you got your ass on the counter taking pictures. And then I, I jump in your DMs. I'm not talking about that at all. Because 
I, I don't see why people should do things like that. Because that's just showing, one, that you kind of thottish and you might need to get some help with that. And two, that they not serious. Because you putting shit out like that, that's what you going to attract. So why would you even ask someone, where do you see this going, if you put not shit like that? That should not even be a question. Your question should be is, how often are we fucking? That should be the question you should be asking. That's a good question on the first day when you do crap like that. Do your so, homeboys want some of this? No. Those are great questions to ask. No. You trying to put miles on the pussy and I'm just... It's already miles on there. It is already miles on there. These couple extra miles ain't gonna hurt it. All right, let's do this. When you put out those thought pictures, your place of mind, that's a good first day question. There you go. <laughs> My response could be neither. Yeah, we gonna do it outside. Oh. Yeah. Outside in the wild, like two animals. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. I'm... Mm. So what's you guys' take on that? What do you think are good questions to ask on a first date? Make sure you leave it down in the comments below so we can check it out and see what you think. And as always, if you have any topics or comments that we should talk about and you want us to shout you out as we do it, make sure you hit a, uh, shoot us those comments and say, hey, I want y'all to shout me out of this. We'll definitely do it. And make sure that you hit us up on all of our other handles, our Instagram page, Facebook page, our individual Instagrams and Facebook pages. No, no nudes. If you want to send nudes, send them. I don't check them no way, so you can send whatever you want. All right, guys. It's your girl Songbird. It's not that right. Chill to the next.